Oh, hey, uh, I understand you want to uh, make a little friendly wager with us. What's on the line, Riyadh? Yeah, now here, here's... Put it on the line. What are your here's, the, here's the deal. You know, we're going to put our money where our mouths are. We know uh, your kings are in the driver's seat right now. So this bet, this is for Roger Lodge, big fan of Blind Date, by the way. This is for you, buddy. <laughs> this is, we we, we, we want to we wanna up the ante. See this jersey I'm wearing right here? Yeah. Yes. I'm willing to send this to you so you can wear it in the sports lodge for one hit on your show after the kings yeah. uh, are eliminated by the Vancouver Canucks. We don't stop there because this is L.A. I want one Go Canucks Go chant from the Laker girls. <laughs> And finally, close it out. Most importantly, Stephen, um, a camera guy, if you're getting close on this, I Let's want see. one autograph shot of you, Roger, with this yeah. headshot. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's hot stuff. That's hey, hey, okay, what kind that's of wimpy bet? Stuff. Hey, Riaz, what kind if of you lose, bet you got that. It's <laughs> a wimp bet. Let me, okay, if you, you want to be a man, what, what if you want to be a man about this bet, let's do it, and let's do it right, Come brother. On. Here's We're, the bet. Okay. If the Kings eliminate the, the Vancouver Canucks, you need to come back that's on this up, show, brother. and you need to show up wearing yes. only a Speedo. Oh, here he goes with the <laughs> If Vancouver defeats the LA Kings and eliminates them, then I'll show up on this show, and I will be wearing only a Speedo. <laughs> it's always a Speedo. Real oh. situation. When I make a bet and I don't come through, I pay up. Yes, you Hence, do. Ugh. washing Frank Buckley's car. But let me just say this. I am officially going to welch on this bet. Yeah. I am wearing no Speedo on so television. So you're not a man of your word. Wow. <laughs> I am, or whatever it takes, I'll pay up my bet. It is time for the Speedo Gate update, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Lodge and the Canucks scandal. If you missed it last week... A bet was made between a Breakfast Television and KTLA, a big morning show over in Los Angeles. Who would win a round one of the series? We, of course, banked on the Canucks. Roger Lodge, so confident in his Kings, he said, if the Kings won, I'd have to show up on this show in a Speedo. If the Canucks won, he would have to show up in a Speedo. That was not the original bet. All I asked for was a, he wear a Canuck jersey, little shout-out from the Laker girls, and an autographed headshot. Well, this thing has blown up for, uh, th that was a clip from his show yesterday where he said he was reneging on the bet. He was backing out from his, uh, his, his original words, and this was his bet, the idea of wearing the Speedo. The issue is integrity for me. If you say you're going to do something, be a man of your word and come through with it. Uh, guys, if we could take a shot of the laptop. Metro News jumped on board for this. Uh, they've written a great article back this speedy backtrack on Canucks Kings Speedo bet. I'll link this up on my blog, breakfasttelevision.ca. They wrote all about it. They're supporting us. News 1130 covered it yesterday as well. Listen, I went to the dressing room. Round two against the Blackhawks starts Friday, but I had the chance to talk to some of the Canucks about what they thought about Speedo Gate. Who's wearing the Speedo, you or him? It's going to be him now that you guys won. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, don't worry. You were coming yeah. in and I was going to work. Yeah, yeah. I feel it was going to be awkward. <laughs> if any color, if uh, we had to choose a Speedo for him? Well, or? maybe like the light green Borat Speedo style. <laughs> hot pink would be hot. You got to grow some balls, but you got to do what you, you say. If you lose a bet, you got to do what you have to do. I bet's a bet. You can't back out. Um, I'll be watching you in, in that Speedo. Um, yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> weird indeed, Ryan Kessler. Weird indeed. Listen, if you want to join the uh, petition online, uh, check out Facebook there and just type in Speedogate. I'm looking at it right now. Viewers are jumping on board. Roger the Dodger, time to pay the piper. Your banana hammock awaits is what our viewers are saying. Listen, our producers are going to call KTLA. We're going to figure this out. You don't make a bet like that and back out after you do a show like Blind Date. you got to ante up. He's angry. Are you okay? <laughs> Hey, I almost wore this thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> a lot of stress went into Like Michaela said, this literally is a lose-lose situation, Mark. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to have to see if Raj is going to follow through. That is weak. Keep you posted on the latest, Doc. He's going, brother, are you a man? And he's calling you out, and you make the bet, and then he does that. And then we have this for him, too. That's maybe, just not right. Maybe this you keep touching it. it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you just put it down. Put that down, please. Okay. <laughs> but there's just something not right with no. the Lakers, and they're in big trouble. You know who's really in trouble? Your bikini waxer, because you got a speedo to put on this week, my friend. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I maintain. I don't need no waxer. I'm ready to go. I'm in game <laughs> shape right now. You. Game shape. So much about you. Yesterday inside the BT Studios, guys, let's show the viz. A special package was sent to Roger Lodge. We call that a speedo. A speedo. That's how we do it in Canada. It was sent off over to Los Angeles. Oh, you didn't say there'd be that. It's a scary in the back. Yeah. Mind you, we sent that with a Go Canucks Go playoff towel, some tanning lotion, some veed hair removal. It's all been sent over <laughs> to L.A. We're looking out for Roger Lodge. Now, listen, I am a man of my word. My issue here is integrity. 
KTLA addressed this issue, the whole Speedo scandal, and here's what Roger Lodge had to say 10 minutes ago. No? Yes. No. Can I just plead my case here very quickly? Sure. And then, hey, I am willing to an open vote right here, right now, on the KTLA Morning Show. I will let you guys decide whether or not I actually you know we'll have to wear this Speedo. And, okay, here's the deal. When this young man, what's the guy's name up Riaz. there? Riaz. Okay, I said, hey, let's go. Let's step it up. How about we wear a Speedo? I never heard this guy fully accept the bet. Oh, So is the bet really on? Yes. Is the bet Really on yes. you guys. Mark Krisky, yes or no? Yes. Michaela? Yes. Frank? Yes. Godfather? Uh, please. <laughs> but, but, well, you knew I this was the it. stupidest it's jury to throw to. Yeah. Come on. What are you, nuts? You the know right what? people. Are, are, you you sure you, are you sure you guys don't need a little more time no. to think of? <laughs> you know what? I couldn't even get the question out of my mouth. I yes, know. yes, yes, yes. Okay, listen. I'm a man of my word. You are? I'm wearing the Speedo tomorrow, one time. Without one pants. One time only, and that's it. Without pants. Without pants. Hello. All we ask for. <laughs> You know, integrity. That is the pressure that RBT viewers put on him because I know they flooded his Twitter, they flooded their Facebook, the Speedogate page, that is all you and of course the uh, readers of the Metro newspaper as well. Thanks for putting that in, you know, public pressure, people demand.